What's up? Hey. How, how you been? That's fucking great. I'm happy for you. Anyway, I came here because I'm today I'm going to be filming a reading video about the books I've been reading this month. Because I've been reading a lot. And I lied. It's not just been this month. It's been like the past few months. I'm trying to get a good title, all right? Oh, so anyway, let's start. Because I've been reading a lot and I, well, I more listen to audiobooks because I have a job where they let me listen to audiobooks. I work there on Monday and Wednesday and I work like for eight hours. So I've been getting some good old listening done and I've, you know, finished a lot of books. And it's pretty freaking cool, and I'm happy about it. And yeah, and that. Uh, do you like my shirt? I know you can't answer, and I'm fishing for compliments, but I got it for like two dollars at the thrift store, and it's so big. I feel like uh, I feel like I'm wearing a blanket. It's I think it was a four extra large, and you know I'm an extra large myself. I would call myself a thick bit. But anyway, that's besides the point. I was talking about my good old uh. It's not really a flannel, just a extremely oversized dress shirt that I'm going to be wearing to school because it's a blanket and I like to feel comfortable, you know what I'm saying? And maybe I'm pulling it off, maybe I'm making it look kind of styling, you know what I'm saying? I just said that so much, sorry. Anyway, I'm rambling again. Let's get on to the video. I am going to be talking about the books I've read in the past few months. Not finished, just started reading. Because I have a problem with not finishing through on things. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> the first book I have, I actually did finish. And my only other video I posted, because I privated the rest of my videos because I felt embarrassed, you know, like what if someone found them that I know, and then they talked about me behind my back, and I would have never known, so it's pointless to even worry about it, but I still worry about it because who knows if they're talking about me. I finished Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi, and it's a signed copy, I said that in the last book, but I just feel proud of myself for finding it. So I'm gonna do a better job of showing it this time. Do you see? <laughs> Guess who has a signed copy? Me. I do. That's right. Not you? Maybe you do. What if you do? Then we can be buddies. If Tomi Adeyemi, you're watching this. What up? You're a really good writer and I really enjoy your content. And I wish I had the skills you do, but some people just can't be skilled in life, am I right? <laughs> that was so awkward. <laughs> Anyway, she also wrote a ton of stuff in the back, and once I finished the audiobook, because I listened to it on audiobook, because um, I like reading, but, you know, reading is kind of a challenge where I thought listening is not. So I more listen to audiobooks, and I'm subscribed to Audible. Use my code, um, Ian, for 10% off. I don't even know how that works. What is, I'm joking. I, I obviously don't have a code. I made that joke last video. I'm recycling jokes now. Yeah, I finished this book. And now let's give a review. Let me give my honest Emily May Goodreads review. <laughs> I loved it. I loved every second of it. I thought it was fantastic. Um, I remember I thought the beginning was a little slow and I didn't get into it until, spoilers, my dudes. I keep rubbing my nose. I'm actually a cocaine addict. I, I really started to get into Children of Blood and Bone when Zaley started selling that damn fish. I remember I was like, why was, can I say that, weirdly enough, that is like one of my favorite scenes in any book I've ever read when Zaley goes and she tries to sell that fish because I was so nervous, like, oh my god, is she going to sell the fish? Like, who knows? Like, and then the guy, and then she was like trying to get up the price and I thought the tension was so high and I don't know why man but that scene did it for me and that's when I started to get really into it and then Amari came to her and she had the scroll and all that and then Mama Agba which is my favorite name of the entire book Mama Agba is just the best name I've ever heard in my entire life <laughs> fight me in the comments she had her like magical thing and that's when I started to super get into the book it was just so freaking good and I'll try not to make it spoilers even though I did why don't I try to explain it like a non foil spoiler person so, basically, it's about this girl named Zaley. What's her last name? Adebola. Adebola, I think. Zaley Adebola. And she is a diviner, which is basically people who have magic. 
and their um and their magic has been taken away. So basically it's just about Zaylee trying to give magic back to her people. And it's great and it's awesome and that ending was like freaking fantastic and uh, I loved that book. See the thing is you know you love a book when when it's done you can't stop thinking about it and like at night all I could do was think about it. I was just like, oh my god, did you remember when Zaylee did that? Oh my god, did you remember when Amari and her dad fought? Like, man, that was freaking awesome. That was, like my, that was like my second favorite scene of the book, when Amari and her dad fought. My favorite scene was when Zaylee sold the fish. I know people are like, why is that your favorite scene? I don't know, okay? It just is. I love that scene. <laughs> okay, anyway. Highly recommend. Um, I rated it on Goodreads of five stars. And I think I would probably give it like a four... 5, but maybe a 5, or maybe like a 4.7. It's freaking fantastic. I highly recommend it to anybody. It's just so good. And it's awesome, and and I feel personally connected to Tomi Adeyemi because she signed my freaking book. And she drew these little pictures in the back of like a rose and stuff. So yeah. Anyway, it was awesome. I highly recommend it. Now, I have this here. I already read this book, and it's my absolute favorite book of all time ever. Aristotle and Dante discovered the secret of the universe. I love it so much. And you're like, why do you have that there? You already showed it in your last thing. To you, I would say, well, I did show the book, but do you notice something different? It's a f well, This one's a freaking hardcover. And I did that because I decided that I'm going to buy, like, every single book that I absolutely love. I'm going to buy it in hardcover and put it on my favorite shelf, which I'm, that's, I'm gonna do that for me. Unless people start watching my videos or people wanna see my favorite shelf, which then I'd show it. Okay, the next one I have here that I just started is The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. And I'm listening to this on audiobook, but my sister was really obsessed with this, this series and to all the boys I loved before, so she told me to like read them. So that's what I'm doing. And how, how do I feel about this book so far? Uh, I don't love it, but I don't not like it. Like, I like it. It's good. It's like, kind of, it's kind of hard to explain. Like, I listen to it on audiobook, so I can only really listen to it for like an hour or so, and then I start to get like, kind of done with it. It's pretty good. It's a love a square, I think, right now. <laughs> It is a love square, isn't it? Belly, Conrad, Jeremiah, and Cam are all in the love square. So it's one of those books. But it's good, and it's cute, and it's a fun read. You know, it's just fun. It's fun. It's not something that you're going to be like, oh my god, do you remember when Zaylee sold the fish? It's not going to be like that. It's going to be like, you know, it's cute. So would I recommend this book? Yes, if you're into this kind of stuff. Or if you just want to pick up kind of like a love square, like romancy type thing. I would. I haven't finished it yet, though. I might change my opinion when I finish it. Anyway, the next book I actually finished an entire series of is another book by Jenny Han, and it is To the to All the Boys I Love Before Chill Trilogy. To All the Boys... <laughs> I was just doing this, and it's the wrong fucking book. <laughs> um, here. It's this one. To All the Boys I Love Before by Jenny Han. And... I really liked this series. I thought it was really cute. I was like, ooh, and uh, aww, and like, uh, that's sweet, and like, uh, oh. And my favorite character was Kitty. I thought Kitty was really funny. And I really liked Lara Jean. I thought it was really good. I liked the relationship in it. I thought it was a good one, and I really liked the way how it, like, happened. I liked, there was more of a plot in this one than her other book. I liked how she had the letters, and spoiler! They got sent out, and then, like, it started, like, the fake dating with Peter, and I thought that was really cute. I just, I liked it. It was a good read. I think I would give it, like, each book I think I would give, like, a 3.9 out of 10, but the entire experience, I'd give, like, a 4.3. Because afterwards, I was kind of like, oh, like, I miss, I miss freaking Laura Jean, and... Miss Rothschild and Peter and Kitty and Margot and the dad. And I was just like, I kind of miss like my fictional book family. Like, where are they at? You know? It was cute. It was really cute. I would recommend it. 4.3. Yeah. 
here's my next book. I've only started this one. I haven't really read too much into it, even though I really like it so far. Uh, but anyway, it is Scythe by Neil Schusterman. Schusterman. Neil Schusterman. And I am 49 pages into it, and I really like it so far. I think it's really cool, but I haven't really had that much time for reading because I'm either up north at work or watching stuff with my family. <laughs> So, I haven't really had that much time for reading, even though I do enjoy reading. I like it so far. I can't really give it a rating yet, but one thing I will compliment the book on is I really like that it doesn't, like, drag at all. Like, it will be like, oh, the interesting part is coming up. Oh, next sentence, the interesting part is happening. It's not like, what's her name? I think her name was, like, C Citra. I think her name's Citra. It's not just, like... Oh, Citra got on her gown and put on her uh, makeup, or did her hair, or she put on her running shoes and her ath and her running shorts and her shirt, and she then she creaked down the stairs. And it's not like boring like that. It's like okay, so Citra gets invited to like where the scythe is and in the opera, which, and then it's like okay, she got the invitation. Okay, she's there. You know, it's fun like that. It's it's quick. But anyway, I like it so far. So, I mean, first reaction, good. So, now, the last book I have, the last physical book I have, the rest of them I'm actually just listening to so far. I finished this book, and my freaking dude, I loved this book so much. It's one of my favorites I've ever read, and that is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. It's so good. So good. I was obsessed with it. I listened to it on audiobook. And then I had to run out and get it because we were going up north and I wanted my mom to read it when we were up there. And she loved it too, by the way. But anyway, I was like, I remember I was freaking hooked. I was hooked from the beginning. I, it was like very glamorous and like enchanting. Like, I think that's the best word to describe this book. If I had to use one word to describe the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo, it would be enchanting. It's just like you're enthralled with like this world and like... Evelyn's like old time Hollywood glamour it's just so cool and then I loved the relationship so much I thought it was the cutest thing ever uh spoilers uh, yeah uh, I loved Evelyn and Celia together I thought they were so sweet I thought it was just the cutest thing it just it just got me and like the ending and like kind of the twisty part was really cool too and it was just awesome. But I'll give a brief overview, non-spoilery. So, basically it's about this reporter named Monique who uh, is specifically asked by Evelyn Hugo to interview her. And Evelyn Hugo is like this old time Marilyn Monroe type Hollywood actress who is like so famous. And she specifically wants Monique to interview her. And you learn why at the end, but there's like a reason and then she gets there and it's pretty much Evelyn goes through her whole life story and she wants Monique to write her biography and it's so fucking good man <laughs> so good I loved it I remember I was like oh. see this is why like reading is so fun because like I would have this isn't a movie this isn't a tv show I would have never ever seen this before if I didn't read so fuck yeah I'm really excited to get her next book, audiobook, from Audible. Audible, hi. What, what's up, Audible? Uh, hit a boy up. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, it's so good, so good. I'm like obsessed with it. I still am. I remember like at night I had trouble sleeping because all I could think about was like Evelyn Hugo. It's not scary, I just have an active mind. I don't have any more physical copies, but I am listening to two other books right now. The first one is The Magicians. It's good. I like it. I think it's it's a really good fantasy story, and it's really funny, too. He makes fun of the characters a lot, and it's it's funny, and it's like kind of weird in a good way. My only problem with it, and my criticism of it would be, I'm really not into super descriptive stuff, like where... It's like an entire chapter of like no dialogue and all description. Uh, and he does that sometimes. So I'm not so into that. So 
it kind of throws me off a little bit, but I like it and I'm going to keep reading it. So yeah, I, I mean, right now it's definitely entertaining and it's definitely good. So, you know, what? here we are. I'm, I'm reading that. And if you want to, if you're into that kind of, it kind of reminds me of like a more Lord of the Rings type, Wizard of Earthsea type where it's like a lot more heavy on description rather rather than like character, except the characters are good, rather than like dialogue and like character interactions. But yeah, it's good. I like it. I, as much as I'm saying that good of things about it, I actually really enjoy it. And the last book I'm reading right now is uh, Vicious by V.E. Schwab. And dude, I freaking love that book. Oh, there's a bug. It's so good. Like I'm, I'm I've I'll listen to five hours of it today and I was like captured by it I was like whoa like this is really cool and I like how it's kind of dark I haven't read like a dark book in a while and like the whole superhero thing I should give like a spoiler free uh description so basically it's about these this boy named Victor it's Victor right I'm so bad with this why am I so bad with this Victor and Eli and their roommates and Eli is doing a uh, like class project on EOs, I think they're called? EOs? Extraordinaries? Yes, EOs. Victor is doing a project on, like, adrenaline and stuff, and then they realize, I guess this is kind of a spoiler, so if you don't want anything, you don't want to know anything, like, skip ahead, I'll put, like, a number on the screen or whatever. They learn that superpowers, like, if you have a, a death, pretty much a death experience, like, you die and then you come back to life, so, like, if you had like a heart attack and you came back or like these two girls fell into a lake and froze to death but then they were like revised because they were frozen like that kind of stuff that's how you get superpowers and it's like getting superpowers from like pretty much death come back to life experiences and it's so cool and that part was so cool but there's so much more to the story which i'm like really intrigued about now and i love it so far i would definitely recommend it i think it's really cool definitely one of my favorites, actually, now that I think about it. But yeah, I think that's all for me today. I had a fun time talking to myself in my basement with the camera about books. Yeah. And so, well, see you later, alligator. Bye.